Hello, thank you again for joining me for Give Him 15. A very interesting and I believe important post for you today. It's one my brother who helped me with one just a few days ago has helped with because he had a very specific word from the Lord. Title is In God We Trust. In 2003 and 2004, Chuck Pierce and I went to all 50 states to gather spiritual leaders, pastors and intercessors and others to pray. We were instructed by Holy Spirit to seek his word for each state and release it. We did so. It proved to be an extraordinary season. The word of the Lord was powerful and precise, the decrees impacting and shaping. After the tour, we were led to put the words and thoughts brought by Holy Spirit to each state in a book. We called it Releasing the Prophetic Destiny of a Nation. We gave each state three or four pages to summarize the words and also wrote seven chapters on subjects that became predominant across the entire nation. Tens of thousands of intercessors around the nation used the book as a guide and source for their prayers. It is a perfect offer to accompany this post. You can find the book in our online store and visit my website to do so. And this is the book. It's a thick book. However, you don't have to read the entire book to benefit. As I said, the first chapters give an overview. It's a brief section and then each state has pages. So you can just go to your state. And again, intercessors use this all over the country. It's a very, very good source on how to pray. So check it out. We're giving you a great, great, great deal. We don't do these things to make a lot of money. We just uh, try to get the word out. Recently, my brother says, Tim, recently I was pondering and seeking the Lord for strategies regarding our times. A constant prayer of mine, he said, is, what is the present word of the Lord? I was contemplating Holy Spirit's move in this new era with his angel armies and the remnant now forming an active ecclesia, a reigning church moving in power, glory, and greater authority than we've ever seen. As I prayed, Holy Spirit revealed a strategy for our nation through a vision. In the vision... Holy Spirit began showing me the official state seal for each state in America. I was impressed with the thought that the seal of a state is similar to a signet ring, often seen in the Bible. In Bible days, a signet ring was very important. It had the seal of a king, of the king engraved on it, and with the ring, a king sealed or stamped letters and documents proving it was his word. In other words, the king's stamp also made the documents official. The signet ring had executive authority and power. Holy Spirit was clearly talking to me about officially sealing something in our nation. I was then prompted to look at each state's motto. The motto of a state or nation is legally passed by their legislature. Notice that legally passed by the legislature to represent purpose, identity, or a general expression of their boundaries. It is a decree expressing the heart or belief of that territory. 
Holy Spirit revealed to me that if the ecclesia of each day would pray and decree this legal identity, realignment with it will begin to take place. And it will also activate the hosts of heaven. The kingdom and power of God will back the decrees and release angels of alignment. He goes on to say, it is now an opportune time for the people of God to decree and agree with the definition of their territories. We must declare into the atmosphere, into the spirit realm of our region, its intended purpose in order to bring forth its fulfillment. For example, he says, Ohio's motto is, with God, all things are possible. Decreeing that motto activates Ohio's identity to align with its unique purpose. And of course, Job twenty two twenty eight says, decree a thing and it will be established. Decreeing each state's motto will accelerate Align, realignment into its kingdom purpose and also that of the whole nation. America's motto is, in God we trust. Decreeing this activates angel armies to assist it in happening. Angels hearken to the decree of God's word or will. Psalms 103, 20. They are available to help us maintain our inheritance, the angels. They are available to help us maintain our inheritance and, if need be, obtain a deliverance and supernatural victories. It's time we operate in this proper kingdom intention. We must do so at a much higher level if we expect to turn the captivity in nations and live in biblical freedoms. As I saw a picture of all 50 states, it became like a beautiful mosaic of strength, purpose, and identity. Together, they form a corporate national destiny. I'll read that again. As I saw a picture of all 50 states, it became like a beautiful mosaic of strength, purpose, and identity. Together, they form a corporate national identity. Each state has a part to play. Each state has a note to America's song, and it takes all the chords aligned properly, properly to play that song. Decree. These official declarations of purpose and identity over each state and believe for realignment in Jesus' name. And then Tim gives the state motto of every state. They are also in the book, Releasing the Prophetic Destiny of a Nation. Obviously, they would be easy to find, but they're right here for you. Some of these states, he has given examples, adding a sentence like, this is what you could decree based on this motto. You can speak the motto, but you can state what it, what it means and you can amplify what it says and decree that over your state. Imagine if thousands of people in each state begin to decree this every day in the spirit realm over their state. So it's all here for you. And I'm not going to take the time to read all of them, but we have made it very easy. So... He finishes by saying, I believe if the ecclesia in each state arose and declared realignment to the purpose, plans, and identity of their region, our nation would be realigned to its official purpose and covenant. Holy Spirit has given us an assignment to realign this nation and declare to the world in God we trust. And let's pray this prayer with, with Tim, who wrote it for us. Father God, let your ecclesia around this nation and world rise 
and begin to decree and agree with the definition of their territories. Holy Spirit, come and empower them to bring a defining to their region, bringing forth the purpose and identity of the living God. We decree demon princes over our regions are bound in Jesus' name. Realign us for a move of Holy Spirit on the earth like we've never seen before. Realign us for revival. Realign us to unseat the Antichrist agendas and those who represent them and to seat them with the sons and daughters of God locally, regionally, and nationally. Speak the corporate destiny released into the atmospheres of this nation and transform it. We will do that. Realign culture and government through your power. We declare the purpose and plans for this new era cannot be reversed. We declare we will align and become who we are supposed to be. We declare America will realign and fulfill its destiny. We decree angels are organizing around the prayers of God's people, helping to bring them to pass. We decree the greatest days in church history are not in our past. They are in our present and in our future. In Jesus' name, amen. And the decree, as if he has it been, he gives us one formal decree. We decree realignment to the purpose, plans, and identity of our region and our nation. In God, we trust. Awesome. And portions, by the way, of the post were taken from his book, Angel Armies, on assignment. You can learn more about Tim here. Thanks for doing this, Tim. Get on board with this. Find your state motto here in the book or online and begin to decree every day, knowing that hundreds, hopefully thousands, I know in some states, thousands will be doing so with you. Do it every day. Very simple, won't take long. It will make a difference. Thank you for joining me. See you tomorrow. Have a very important, very important post for you tomorrow and the day after. So thank you for joining me. I'll see you then.